Holy shit, guys! So, 10th anniversary na ng League of Legends, and Riot just gave us 10 beautiful birthday presents. My name is G10, coming at ya. So, tiri natin ang 10 birthday announcements ng Riot Games for us, the League of Legends community. Guys, we've been asking for this for years. Mobile League of Legends. It's coming. It's called League of Legends Wild Rift, and it's going to feature the same League of Legends champions, the same skills, the same summoner spells, the same map, the same summoner's rift that you all know and love from the PC version. But it's going to be on mobile and console. So, pwede ka na maglaro ng League of Legends habang nag-go commute, habang tumatambay, habang tumatae. Anywhere now, you can play League of Legends and it's going to be amazing. So, what do we know about League of Legends Wild Rift? At release, it's going to have 40 champions. They're all going to have the same abilities na meron sila in the PC version. The control scheme is the same as yung mga mobile MOBAs like ML. Uh, the movements are gonna be on the left, skills on the right. Anyway, so if you already play League of Legends sa PC, sobrang familiar na to sa'yo, sobrang madadalian ka na. But not only that, na narinig mo ko, sinabi ko consoles. It's going to be on your phones. But also, on consoles, pwede siya laruin with a controller. But what if ikaw na console pero yung kapatid mo may phone lang? No problem, cross-platform. Pwede kang maglaro on your on your console and some and your friends can play on their phones and you can play together. Sobrang dali lang yan. But what about PC? May Wild Rift ba sa PC? And syempre, Rumble Real, you know us, we're all about community. So, of course, may Facebook community na tayo. It's called League of Legends Mobile. It's a Facebook group. So, join there, kita-kita tayo, and we'll all play together when Wild Rift releases. And malayo pa naman yung League of Legends Wild Rift 2020 pa naman yan. What do we get now tayo mga fans ng League of Legends? If you log in every day, May, may makukuha kang birthday gift from Riot. It ranges from a summoner icon, gemstone, and of course, if you get through all 10 days and log in on the 11th day, you're, you can get the exclusive anniversary skin. That's the exclusive skin for the 10th birthday. If you don't get that here, baka hindi mo na, never mo na makuha ang skin na to. Ang, you know what's cool about this skin? Si Timo na si Tibers. But of course, syempre, on October 28th, the day after League of Legends' actual birthday, babalik na ang inyong favorite game mode. Ultra Rapid Fire babalik sa League of Legends. What? Full champion select ang Ultra Rapid Fire. Pwede mo nang laruin ngayon in full glory. Sobrang limited time event lang yan, hanggang early November lang. So, if you love League of Legends, if you love Earth, be sure to log in and play on those dates. Of course, we also got news on preseason 2020. Sobrang. So yung theme is Rise of the Elements. So from that, alam na natin heavily changed ang mga drakes. And for the third drake that spawns, if you kill it, it's going to permanently alter yung buong Summoner's Rift. If you kill the Infernal Drake, it's going to destroy your jungle. Mawawala yung walls ng red buff, magbaburn yung mga bush. If you kill the Cloud Drake, there's going to be speed buffs all over the rift. It's supposed to make uh, things a lot more tactical, a lot more exciting, a lot more fresh every game. Bago yung uh, bagong bago yung experience mo. It's going to be insane. Na imagine ko na ang mga pro play nito. But of course, that's going to be sa preseason coming in patch 9.23. Medyo malayo pa. But get your calendars ready kasi maguguho ang Summoner's Rift. Since magkakaroon na ng LOL Mobile, syempre, to follow din ang TFT. Of course, Riot is now releasing teamfight tactics on mobile devices. But of course, hindi lang yun. They're also announcing na magkaka-seasonal sets ang TFT. Every new season, there's going to be new champions, new items, new classes, new origins. It's basically going to be a new game, a new TFT every season. So every time, it's going to be fresh, it's going to be exciting, and it's going to keep you coming back again and again and again. Ako, sobrang dami ko ng games na ng TFT. And I can't tell you how many more games I'm going to be playing. Sobrang ma-addict na ako dyan when it comes to mobile. So abangan. One more thing. From the moment we launched TFT, players have been asking for a mobile version of the game. It turns out, you guys actually do have phones. Ito yung hanahanap natin sa Riot. Every time may bagong cinematic, may champion teaser, may music video for Worlds, may trailer. Sobrang ganda ng animation. 
And we always ask the question, bakit wala pang League of Legends animated series? The answer is, ngayon meron na. Riot Games Arcane is going to come out next year, 2020. It's going to focus on Vi and Jinx. Zon built over that entire storyline. At least for now, yun yung mga alam natin about that. And I don't know about you, pero ako ready na yung popcorn ko. Siyempre, hindi lang ang Arcane yung TV-related thing ng Riot na inannounce nila. This next one is actually something that pwede mong panoorin ngayon. This is going to be League of Legends Origins. Ito yung story ng League of Legends. It's a documentary from the beginnings of the game to where it is now, how League of Legends has evolved and how the community has evolved along with it. Siyempre, tayo community members tayo, arte tayo niyan. And this is our game. This is our League of Legends. You can watch it right now on Netflix and other streaming services where available. Sobrang sarap sa puso to watch League of Legends grow and to have it all in one hour, 15 minutes of just pure nostalgia. That is all of the League of Legends news from Riot. Pero, let's see, one, two, three, four, lima pa lang yun. There are five more new games. Siyempre, Riot Games, they want to put the S in Riot Games. They've added, uh, they've announced five more new games. So let's start from the one that's the most complete that we've seen. Hi, I'm Jeff Ju. I'm Andrew Yip. And we have a confession. We're making a card game. What? Legends of Runeterra. Ito yung entry ng Riot into the collectible card game genre. It's out right now in closed beta. Famous Twitch streamers are streaming it sila. This guy's Toast, Kriparia, and Skaramagan. They're playing Le Legends of Runeterra right now. And from what I've seen, from what we've seen, sobrang ganda niya as a card game. And oh, I've been able to play a little bit of it. I played a tutorial. Nakaka-addict siya. And the best thing about it, it's not pay to win. As long as you play a lot, you can have some of the strongest decks out there. And the goal of Legends of Runeterra is to bring your enemy's nexus from 20 health to 0 health. Tapos yun, mananalo ka. And if you guys are familiar to collectible card games, syempre there's mana, there's health, there's uh, attack power, and that's all there. And syempre yung mga mechanics ng game are super interesting. If you want to see more of it, you can watch YouTubers, you can watch Twitch streamers, and maybe you can even play it yourself if you get an invite to the closed beta. Project L, ito din. Sobra hype na rin ito. It's the League of Legends fighting game. Ever since Riot acquired Radiant Entertainment in 2016, yung mga producers na Rising Thunder, they've been working on this secret project for three years, and finally, may nakita tayong teaser for Project L in Riot's announcement teaser. Siyempre, inannounce rin ito, ito nung EVO last year, I think. It was pretty well received, pero now, oh my god, it is, it looks beautiful. It's a 2D fighting game, mala Street Fighter siya, and for now, we have four confirmed champions. We got Darius, Jinx, Katarina, and Ari. Those are the four champions that we know right now, and I'm excited to see kung gano karami yung roster ng Project L. So, abangan nyo na lang. Uh, we've heard We've heard rumors, wag nyo sabihin na, that si Ryan, Filipino champ Ramirez, has been able to get his hands on the game, has been able to play it, and this is a pro Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom player, and he says that he really, really likes it. So, you know, the fighting game community will have to watch out for this new game. Siyempre, kung may fighting game on Riot, hindi magpapawala ang FPS. They're coming out with a new FPS and ito lang yung uh, hindi set in the League of Legends universe. Project A is going to be Riot's new hero-based tactical shooter. And ito talaga, as an FPS fan, I've seen the gameplay demo and I absolutely love it. They're focusing on good gunplay, good netcode, competitive elements. So those are the three things that FPS players really, really want. And Riot is focusing on those three things in Project A. So I'm very excited now to play Project A. For those of you naman who want to experience an esports journey, pero you know, you're not really that good at esports, Riot has come out with a game, is coming out with a game for you. It's going to be League of Legends Esports Manager. For those of you who are football manager fans like me, this is the game for you. If you're not familiar with sports manager simulation games, uh, this is going to be, it's, you're not going to be playing League of Legends. You're going to be managing players. You're going to be experiencing an esports journey from the eyes of the players. So if you want Faker on a team with Doublelift, 
you know, one day baka pwede. But for now, Esports Manager is just going to be focusing on the LPL and it's going to be releasing in 2020. So there are two ways to play this game that we've seen, uh, that we've been told. Number one, you can experience an esports story from the eyes of a single player. And number two, you can play against your friends and opponents in a ranked mode. So we don't know yet how a ranked mode is going to uh, be incorporated in an esports manager sim. I just know that it's going to be amazing. I've been waiting for this since 2014. All right, last but not least, Project F. Ito yung para pinaka mysterious the game na in announce, na right? It wasn't really announced. We just saw mga three seconds of it in like the intro of the anniversary. And honestly, it looks super cool. If you guys are familiar with Diablo and Dungeon Crawlers, it's an action RPG, uh, League of Legends champions fight hordes of enemies. It's going to be multiplayer. Uh, it's going to at least fe feature Blitzcrank because we've seen Blitzcrank slamming his robotic arms down on enemies. Apart from that, there's really not that much information. So, you know, just watch out for Project F. Uh, we don't know yet if it's going to be released on PC or mobile, but it does look super cool from the three seconds that we've seen. So, ayun, lahat ng birthday gifts ni Riot to us, the League of Legends community. I don't know about you guys, but super excited na ako to open all of these presents, to play all these games. Sobrang bait talaga ni Riot to us this year. And next year, syempre, pag release lahat ng games, the League of Legends series. And, oh my god, it's just going to be an amazing, amazing year for League of Legends. So, tell us in the comments down below, anong game ang pinaka-hype ka for and what will you be playing on release day? This has been G10 coming at ya. Keep reigning supreme.